Hello and welcome to another quick science video. Today we are looking at the GCSE physics equation that links power, work done and time taken. It's really important that you know the units that are associated with each element of this equation. So power is measured in watts, work done is measured in joules and time taken is measured in seconds. In order to fully be able to utilize this equation for your GCSE exam, it's really, really important that you are able to rearrange the equation. So in this case, we're going to look at making work done the subject of the equation. So work done is power times time. Really, really important that you write out the equation that you're going to use so you show the examiner what it is that you intend to do. So work done is power times time. In order to make time the subject of the equation, we are going to have time is work done divided by power. Remember time in this case is measured in seconds. Work done is measured in joules and power is measured in watts. Here are three questions for you to have a go at. I would suggest you stop the video and have a go at them. If you are struggling at any point, please do go back through the video to find the correct equation read through the question carefully and put the numbers into your equation. Here are the answers. So for question one, you should have power equals 500 watts. Remember we are doing power is work done divided by time taken and your answer is 500 watts. For question two, to calculate the work done, we are doing power times time. Time is measured in seconds, power is measured in watts. So you're doing 120 times 30, which should give you 3,600 joules. And for question three, work done is power times time. In this case, work done is 1.1 times 10 to the power eight joules. 10 to the power eight, you should know, is standard form, and that implies that there are eight zeros. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the section below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.